In today's video, we're taking a look at how to make your own DIY sous vide container easy and simple. This is so easy, anyone could do. Everything that we use on the video, we're gonna leave a link on the description, including alternate containers that you can use. And the things that you're gonna need for today are a box cutter or scissors, a container, preferably clear, and also taking in consideration, the bigger, the more water you're gonna need to fill it, the space where you're gonna store it, your countertop space, a tape measure or your eyeballs, and optional, is a second lid. In our case, we bought the container and the lid separate. So we got an additional lid just to be able to use the 2V container as storage when not in use. And the last and most important thing other than yourself is your sous vide machine. But if DIY runs so far in your blood that you have started to just build stuff for no reason, we salute you. That means you're becoming a level two DIYer. The first thing that we need is to verify where we're gonna place the sous vide machine. You could either choose right in the middle of your container on a sidewall, of course, or to the corner. In our case, we're gonna choose a corner because we feel it gives us better space if we ever wanna place a rack or it'd be easier to maneuver in the counter. And a pro tip, this is good for you to consider before you actually go and make the hole. Because the last thing you want, it's something you can't use. And we have two ways that we could do this. We could either measure the space or the location where the sous vide machine goes and write down the number. In our case, it's about three inches both ways. Or the second way you can do this, which is the easiest way as well, is to place the lid on the container and trace around the sous vide machine. And remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. Here at the Stata Box team, we encourage mistakes. Remember, you are the king queen, both, or none of your castle. Now that you showed the world your art skills, we can go ahead and get our favorite box cutter, knife, scissors, teeth, I mean your favorite cutting utensil, and proceed to cut around the marking. And if you have any imperfection, remember this is your last chance to fix it, if you wish. But remember, imperfection are a badge of honor here at the Statabox team. And a pro tip, it's always important to use safety when using sharp objects. Because the last thing you want on a clear sunny day is to die. Now we're ready to try out our invention. You can gaze at your creation and notice that you have made the most perfect circle ever made. Another pro tip, any space or gap when the machine is in use, you can cover with aluminum foil, cling wrap, or any other food safe material that you wanna use. Having a second lid when not using the sous vide container can double as a storage container. Like that, you get a two for one. Who told you that in the Stata Box team, we don't save you money? Now you can pat yourself in the back for a job well done. If you want to check out our sous vide pasteurized egg video, you can check out the link on the description. Don't forget, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Anyone in the Statabox team or in the YouTube community can help you out with an answer. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching and here's a link to our latest video.